my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can cover a really bad sunburn using some minimal makeup products. We've all been there where we thought it was a great idea to go to the beach and not wear sunscreen and then when you come home you look like a bright red tomato. That was me the other day and I actually got it so badly where all of this started peeling and it just still doesn't look very good so I'm still using these tips and tricks to hide them. So if you're in the same boat as me I got you covered if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure you get yourself subscribed and join the family by clicking the big red subscribe button down below it would mean so much to me and make sure you turn on your post notifications so then you will be notified every time that I upload a new video also don't forget to comment hashtag notification squad because then you will be in my next video as a shout out so this video shout out goes out to Zoe Barboza thank you for having Having your notification bell turned on it means a lot to me like so much so if you want to find out on how to cover a horrible sunburn then just keep watching okay so the first thing that I like to do is moisturize the face when the face is dry because of all the peeling going on if you put any type of product on top of it it'll just ball up and it'll look like it's just really discolored and it just won't look right so what I like to use is the Pond's dry skin cream and it is a rich hydrating facial moisturizer moisturizer so I thought at first like if I put it on oh my god it's gonna burn me it's gonna hurt so bad but it really really doesn't it actually feels really soothing so I'm just putting this all over my face to make sure that the skin stays totally hydrated so I'm just gonna rub it in very gently and if you feel like even after you apply your moisturizer that your skin does feel a little bit dry still you could go in and apply again that's what I like to do I like to apply this um, in the morning and at night when I'm sunburned before I go to sleep because I really want to make sure that the product is sitting in and that it's gonna get really really smooth you can see how discolored it is it's really really bad I didn't expect to get that bad but I did so I'm just gonna go in again with it because I really want to make sure that everything stays nice and smooth and that the products that we're gonna put on our face aren't going to ball up So the next thing that you're going to want to do is go in with a concealer or a BB cream. I chose that I want to go in with just concealer because I don't want so much coverage on my face itself. I kind of want to enhance the look of the tan skin that I have. I'm not looking to cover it up. So I'm just going to be going in with a concealer. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind. Now you guys might notice when I'm not tan, I go in with the Fair Claire, but today I'm going to be going in with the medium shade. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to apply the product to the areas that are sunburned because we're looking to conceal them. We're looking to hide it. We're looking to blend it in with the rest of the face. Now I find that I don't like to put on a lot of heavy makeup in the summer. So the whole idea of this look is to blend it in so we don't have to wear a lot of makeup. Because if I really wanted to go in with a full face of makeup, I really could and it will pretty much hide all of the sunburn. However, I don't want to do that. I want to just go in with light makeup today. I just want it to look like I have no makeup on. I just really want to hide all of this discoloration that that I got from the sunburn. Also, you wanna find a shade that closely matches the rest of your skin at the moment. Like if my skin is white, then I'm gonna go in with a white concealer. If my skin is tan, I'm going in with the tan concealer as you guys can see here. So now that we're completely concealed, I wanna go in with a damp beauty blender to blend this all out. I know it looks super crazy, but honestly, at the end of this, it's gonna look really, really good. I did this yesterday and I was like totally, like couldn't believe like how good it came out, so I had to film this for you guys. So I'm going in with my damp beauty blender and I'm just blending all of this out. So now we're going to 
go in with a powder to kind of blend this all out to make it look more uniform. Now, if your skin is still white and your face over here is red, I would suggest you go in with a color that's more suitable to your skin tone. But because I'm very dark and it's still kind of discolored over here, I'm going in with a bronzer. And I'm gonna be using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'm gonna take a powdered brush and I'm just gonna swirl the brush into the product and apply it to the areas that I concealed. What this does is that it just pretty much helps with the blending process. You're pretty much just taking a color and putting it over it to make sure that that pink isn't popping out. And you can see that it's already starting to look better. It's looking a lot more blended in, not really discolored. So in order to make sure that this stays all day and that you're not going to pretty much melt off in the summer heat or pretty much if you get splashed with water, I'm going to set the look with my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Translucent Powder. You could use any type of translucent powder for this, but I really do like the Kat Von D because I know that there's no flashback and it really does help with the setting process. Process. or you could use the Laura Mercier. I hear that's a really, really good setting powder as well. But as far as other drugstore powders, I don't really know too much about any good drugstore translucents now that I'm thinking about it. But I do find that when you're looking into translucent powder, you have to be very careful with what you use because if you've watched my previous video on how to get glowy skin, I showed you guys that I set my under eyes with my translucent powder and that you can get flashback if you use the wrong type of translucent powder. So I'm going to link that video down below so you can learn a little bit more about translucent powder and the flashback test. So using my beauty blender, I just dipped it in the product and I'm just going over the areas that we concealed, just going over the sunburn because this will really help keep it in place all day and that you don't have to worry that the discoloration is going to seep through. So while I wait for the powder to set on my face, I'm gonna be doing my other makeup. So as you guys can see here, I'm just putting on some mascara, and then I went in with some lip balm. So now that this sat on my face for a decent amount of time, it is time for me to wipe it away. So I'm just using a powder brush, and I'm just taking the product and swiping it away. I'm just gonna be taking some setting spray and spritzing this over my face to make sure that it is super locked in and that it's not going anywhere. And this is the finished result, guys. No discoloration, and this will last you all day long. that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and make sure that you get yourself subscribed if you're new I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in Monday's video